Tourism has the potential to create many positive impacts for local communities. These impacts can be particularly beneficial in developing countries, but also in regional and rural areas of countries such as Australia, where there may be few other sustainable economic options. Tourism can fulfil the three goals of developing countries. It can generate income, it can increase foreign exchange earnings, and it can create employment. Tourism is the primary source of foreign exchange earnings in 46 of the world's 49 poorest nations. It can contribute anywhere from 30 to 90% of GDP and employ up to half of the population. Tourism helps communities that are poor in material wealth but rich in culture, history and heritage because it enables them to use their unique characteristics to generate income. An important caveat here is that the income generated should go to the local communities. If tourism facilities are owned by foreign companies, tourism profits leak out of the economy. Community-based tourism is one way of ensuring that profits stay in the local area. This type of tourism is generally small scale, local in focus, and usually involves close interactions between visitors and the host community. In addition, tourism development is usually locally controlled. This means the community is engaged in making decisions which can help in ensuring that the benefits of tourism are shared by all. So how can tourism help sustain local communities? Firstly, it can generate jobs in regions where there are few other employment opportunities. Secondly, the tourism industry involves a diverse range of jobs in facilities, attractions and operations, as well as other service providers that support the tourism sector. Thirdly, tourism requires both skilled and unskilled workers. This creates opportunities for women and minority groups who may have difficulty entering the workforce. And finally, tourism products can be small scale, so it is relatively easy for poor or disadvantaged people to enter the sector. An example here would be a homestay with a local family where the outlay to start the business is minimal and the economic benefits go directly to the family. But it is not only in developing countries where tourism can be a powerful driver of change. In Australia, we've seen Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders engage in the tourism industry. This has been particularly beneficial for those living in rural, regional and remote areas of the country as tourism can bring new sources of revenue and employment opportunities where there are few other economic alternatives. Indigenous tourism has become an important part of Australia's tourism product, with many visitors interested in learning about Indigenous culture. They can do this through a range of Indigenous tourism products. Visitors can tour unique natural environments and sacred places on a guided tour. They can visit ancient rock art sites and hear stories about Indigenous people and their culture. They might watch a live performance of Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander dance or learn how to live off the land as the traditional owners have for thousands of years. Some tourists visit Indigenous communities. Others stay in Indigenous owned or operated accommodation. There is also the option of appreciating Indigenous arts through exhibits in state museums, galleries or commercial art and craft enterprises. Dancing, it was my part of my culture. I love dancing in front of different people, meeting different people from different countries. And I just love seeing it, I love doing it. And it's just, I love my culture. I really, really, truly enjoyed the performances. Did an amazing job of explaining the culture. I thought it was interesting to really see the different foods that could and could not be eaten. I had an opportunity to throw a boomerang and it actually worked the first time. It should have stopped then. It's fun being here. Uh, I enjoy the atmosphere that's here. It's a wonderful part of the trip that we've had down here. The interest in Indigenous culture is driving the development of new Indigenous owned and operated businesses throughout Australia. This can contribute to the well-being of local communities and can preserve Indigenous heritage, culture, knowledge, traditions, rituals and values. Let's hear from an Indigenous tourism business about how tourism benefits local communities in a regional part of Queensland. The Mossman Gorge Centre came about as a um, dream from the local Mossman Gorge Aboriginal community. Um, there was over 500,000 people travelling to the National Park section uh, yearly 
and 1% of that passing trade was going into the old Googie Yalanji Dreamtime Tours. The community were looking at ways that they could create employment and future opportunities for their, the future generations and more of a cultural connection to Mossman Gorge now. A lot of people come here for the natural attraction, but when they actually arrive here, they actually see that there is more to it than just the natural connection. Um, it's changing people's attitudes and work ethics. Uh, we are finding that people are now, have, they have real jobs. Uh, they're buying their own cars. Some of them are now two car families. Um, people are starting to think about buying their homes, the way that they budget their money. Things are changing in their lives, but at the same time, they're still able to maintain and share their culture. All the way through our history, we've been uh, very excited about matching a commercial operation uh, that meets the needs of the tourism industry, but also meets the needs of the community. Community is very proud, very passionate about what they do. So we've managed to uh, build skills, build expertise, build knowledge within the organisation so that we can marry, um, if you like, uh, marry up uh, the ability to uh, provide uh, a really good experience experience for uh, tourists, uh, but also uh, meeting the needs of the community in, in their desire to really have people understand what Aboriginal culture is all about. Despite the positives, there are also challenges. For example, Indigenous communities may lack access to start-up finance and capital. They may have difficulties recruiting and retaining appropriately skilled labour. They may not have the required managerial skills and business experience. They may also experience difficulties navigating government regulations. But despite these challenges, we see some fantastic examples of world-class Indigenous tourism experiences in Australia. As we have seen, tourism has the potential to create new economic opportunities for those who have limited alternative options. Community-based tourism can open up new income streams and directly contribute to sustainable livelihoods. Even in countries such as Australia, we can see that tourism is helping create employment and business opportunities for Indigenous people by showcasing their culture, country and way of life.